everyone hope you're all doing well i'm doing well as you already guessed from the title of today's video we are doing this experiment i have done you know i've taken stock of what i have i have made my shopping list i have lots of different types of um let me say carbs like rice i have about five kilograms of rice left let's see how, my, how, how this one takes me through the, the month because i've become a rice lover and I have lots of noodles, so we're not going to buy noodles today. I have, um, what else do I have? Yeah, but my shopping list literally tells you that I need fresh products. So eggs, milk, veggies, fruits, and some other things. So the budget is 20 euros. Let's see how far 20 euros takes me. Then I need some things from the drugstore. So let's say Drogerie Markt DM, as some, some of us call it. Um, I'm not going to Miller because I don't have Miller around me. So I'm going to go to DM. The budget for DM is highest, 10 euros. Um, another thing is that I have a coupon for DM. It has 5 euros left on it. So that is also going to help in that aspect. And then I want to go to Go Asia. That is like an Asian food store that has different types of products. And what I want to get there is shrimps. The reason why I'm not going to get the shrimp at the German store is because the Asian store gives you more um, content for less. So that is why I'm going there. And what else? I want chili oil from the Asian store. I'm thinking of going to the African store because I, from the menu I'm planning for this week, I want plantains. Cause I have every other thing from the Afro store. Like I have, I have a uh, pepe, I have beans, I have palm oil, red oil, I have coconut oil. So I don't really have to go there except for plantain. So if I do go there, then it's also going to be part of today's budget, even though it just goes into next week. But yes, that is the plan for today. This is what I'm going to do. What I've done today now before doing this video is i've eaten i've had breakfast i have the mini lunch because you should not go grocery store uh, shopping on an empty stomach it's simple psychology when you're hungry you buy more because at that time you're buying according to your appetite and what you feel like eating right so i'm going to make sure i don't do that and another thing is that um don't forget your um your empty bottles so fan flashing get take those along to you know reduce your your bill and what else am i doing today yeah basically that's it so if i remember anything i'll let you know so let's go we're going to three shops today and so first we're going to aldi so i'm going to go to aldi and aldi has um has fresh fruits fresh vegetables and sometimes their offers are unbeatable okay so come with me let me get my glasses so I can read properly on the way. And yes, let's go. First store is done. Let me look at the thing. Okay, this is $8.99 for the antifreeze thing for the car. That is not part of the food, so I'd not add that. Okay, it's right here. So we're going to go through this probably when I get home. So this is how much 
I paid today. I didn't get everything. I did not take the paprika because it was three something. I've never seen paprika so expensive. If I want paprika this expensive, I'll go to the farmer's market and not to Aldi. So the sweet potatoes, I took two kilos. It was three euro 14. The vegetables for the soup, for the chicken soup was one euro 39. Bananas was 0 0.68 um, kilos and it was 89 cents. Milk was 1 euro 15. Milk that used to be 80 something cents. Anyways, strawberries was 179. Strawberries, the only thing that was not on my list. But I know that the taste is not going to be that good because it's not summer yet. But they're a good snack and I want it. <laughs> Eggs was 2 29. Um, oats was 79 cents. Avocado, the bundle, the net um, was one ninety nine. Onions was eighty nine cents. Chicken was one ninety nine, and it's just the thigh, the upper part of the thigh. Beef was three ninety nine minus one euro twenty, because I got thirty percent off. Because the date on it says Monday, I have to eat it by Monday, but I think I'm going to eat. I'm going to make that tomorrow. So. Either if I'm not able to make it tomorrow, I'm going to freeze it. Yeah, so that's fine. And then what helped greatly was I would have made 20 euros because the the returning of the bottles was 325 and I ended up at 1651. So it was almost 20 euros anyways, and the bottles kind of like put me back to 16 something. So now I have 3 euros 49. What I'm Still lacking are more vegetables as in the paprika so i'm going to go check if i'm going to get paprika in a different store um i have another um deposit i have to go get because i got this yogurt some time back and i think this is 15 cents or 25 cents you get now i forgot i think it's 25 but aldi does not take these because they don't sell these so they don't take these so i'll go to another store before i go to the asian store and get that so as i said asian store budget is not part of the regular um einkauf's budget the regular um, grocery budget so um because i i would do, i normally do the asian store just once a month okay so yeah that's this one hopefully next week i'll have time to do a different store and see how that goes but this is aldi and aldi worked fine for the first you know party so if you have bottles to return don't forget that if you want to shop at aldi also come early because i realized that something else was on offer but i didn't see it because everything was gone i think it was mushrooms or something it was just gone so definitely definitely come early it's currently after 1 p.m it's almost 2 p.m so yeah and as i was also said before in other house come well fit don't come hungry because when you come hungry you do a lot of impulse buying another thing was that because i was strictly sticking to my list i didn't take other things that i would normally take just because they're on offer i think that's also another way you save lots of money just make sure that you have a plan and you stick to it that's it let's continue with the rest of the to do the itinerary all right all right guys i am back home these are the shops i went to so Aldi was my uh, first choice and I'd say that for 20 euros, you are not going to get much from Aldi to take you through the week because in my case, these are my variables. I have rice at home. I have noodles, spaghetti and different types of Italian noodles and I still have Asian noodles. So that's one. I have gari. I have two plantains. So I have some kind of storage at home already. I have stock at home. And all that I needed was vegetables and protein to get me through the, the week, right? And fruits, obviously. So the perishables. But everything that is non-perishable, I mostly already had those things at home. Which I'm grateful for. Because imagine I had to buy everything. I think it would have been at least 50 years. Because the 10 kilograms of rice that I got in february was already 30 euros things are no more the same so the 1650 at aldi 
I was going to the Asian store, downtown Stuttgart, but the trains were delayed and all that. So I decided to leave that and just go to a different store, being Reve. At Reve, I spent $9.21. And what I got at Reve was the paprika. I refused to get at Aldi because it was over three euros. And I was like, this is farmer's market level. <laughs> so I got it at... Um, Rebe for two eighty nine. I got the mix salad um, back for eighty nine cents. I got chicken wings. That was not on the um, list, but I was thinking if I'm not going to get shrimps, I have like three hundred grams in the freezer. I'm just going to use that for this week, and I'm just going to treat myself to chicken wings because I was tired. So that was my thing, and then I got the chili oil, which was one fifty nine, and the um jar that i showed you was 15 cents so everything minus 15 cents was 9.21 then i got to um dm and i got my toiletries and that amounted to eight euros and 70 cents so and then yes i went to edeka and edeka i can't find the receipts i probably put it somewhere in my jacket that was three something i think they sent me an email so i'll check the email i think it was three or something and what i got at edeka was grapes it was cheaper than at Aldi because Aldi was, I believe, one seventy nine, and Edeka was one forty nine. And the couscous, I the first time I got couscous, I got it at Edeka and it was one sixty nine. All the other shops were above two euros, and I think it was maybe was about one ninety nine. But on my way home, I said, okay, let me just stop at Edeka because I was driving anyway. So I stopped at Edeka and I got that one as well. So basically, that is it. That is it. If you want to save. It means you have to have the time to go through these <clears throat> these ones and listen I don't have the time I do not have the time but if you don't know how to you know build your budget or build your menu for the week I guess you can do this go through this and build your menu on based on this right and um, you have to have the time because imagine I left the house at one and it is 4.14. I didn't even go to Stuttgart. It's just driving from one store to the other, walking from one store to the other, doing your list, going to this aisle, going to that aisle, waiting in line, in the queue. And that's why we just want to do it once a week and get it done with. So I can just concentrate on working and doing other stuff, creating content and all of that. So that's why I did everything today. And now that I'm done, I am done. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my household chores. As I said, this weekend is for today. This part of the weekend is for preparing for the week ahead so I can relax tomorrow. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, if you want us to do other shops and compare, I've already given you um, a feel of it or like a foresight. You cannot say that because this store is not at its counter, well, in general, we call them discounts because they are the cheaper ones. Because they are not like the cheaper ones like Aldi and Lidl and Netto and Penny, they are expensive. So you don't go there. I think you have to do a mix because today, Rive had cheaper paprika than Aldi. And Edeka had cheaper couscous than Rive and Aldi. So you have to have the time to be doing that. You also have to have the knowledge to know which time what is on offer and what time what is on offer. Another tip I wanted to give that I nearly forgot was to use your payback point. So log on to payback. And what you can do is that once you're using the payback, you collect the points. And at some point, your points, um, at some point, yeah, your points translate or convert to money. So you can use that to pay for your groceries in Raven, for example, at DM and all that. So, yeah. If you're not using the payback, you're actually throwing out money at some in, um, in some months. For example, if you buy more than 20 euros, it's times 10, times 5, times 15 points. So the more points you get, the better for you. Yes, I think that is the end of today's video. My name is Phoebe. I had not introduced myself today. My name is Phoebe, and I hope that you have gotten an insight to life Sorry, so you have gotten an insight to life in Germany and how to navigate through things. As you can see, I'm quite tired. I'm hungry. So, adi. <laughs>